Hello again. Today we're going to take a look at how we can export our photos or save a copy of our edits. So by default Lightroom doesn't automatically save what you've done as a JPEG for example. Um, so we need to save it ourselves. So as soon as we've done our edits as we did in episode number one, once we've finished and got the photos to roughly where we want them, now it's time to export them. And what I'm going to do is show you three ways. So the first way is just the simple, basic, um, just a general save them as a high resolution JPEG. So that way we can either upload them to social media, print them, we can do whatever we like with them. Um, they're going to be a high resolution JPEG. Okay, so that's the most common one and that's probably what 90% of people will need. But then I'm also going to show you how to resize them for social media just so we can make the files a bit smaller, easier to email, easier to upload, um, a lot more manageable, but still at good quality. And then number three, I'm going to show you how to format them for print or save them for print. Three slightly different ways, uh, but number one is probably the easiest, simplest and most universal way of doing it. So that's what I'm going to show you first. Um, and like I said, for 90% of people, this is all you need to do. Um, your files will be reasonably big, um, but they will be they will be a high resolution JPEG essentially. So once we've done our edits, uh, what we need to we can do it two ways. We can either from our develop module where we finished up, we finished developing our photos. We can go up to file and then export, and then you should see this screen. Um, but for starters, I recommend doing it from your library tab. So once you're in your library tab, you're going to see all your files over here to the left. Um, so we're just going to export this one file that I have here because we've edited all these photos. Okay, so episode one, we showed how we brought all of them in. So if you haven't had a look at episode one, have a look. Um, just shows how we bring all our photos into Lightroom, very basic editing um, and a little bit of file management. So now we're going to export or save what we've done. Okay, so from our library tab, what we're going to do is press Control and A on the keyboard, and this is going to select all the photos. Okay, I'll do another video on how we can just select individual photos. We can just go through and pick our best photos. But in this case, we've only got 28. Uh, we're just going to save all of them. Okay, so once we've selected all of the photos, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we have an import and export button. So what we want to do now is export. We're going to export these photos and save them. So once you click on export, you'll see this screen appear. Okay, so again, this is all default settings. Um, and for our general everyday use, um, th this is what we're going to do, all right? So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna change where we export it to. Okay, so now this is all personal preference. You can export them to wherever you like. Uh, but I'm just going to give you an example of how I do it, just to keep my original photos and my edited photos separate. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to export and we're going to choose a specific folder. Okay, and by default, it should once again find your pictures folder where all our photos are stored. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the folder Okay, and as you can see, that's where all our photos are. So that's from episode one, that's where we imported all our photos. But what I want to do now is create a new folder. And what I'm going to do, call this is edited photos 2023. Okay, so now in here, I've got my all photos, which you can call it original photos, raw files, whatever you like. Um, I'm just going to create another folder and these are going to be all my edited photos. So this is where I'm going to put all my finished photos. So I'm going to select that folder and then press select folder. So now by default, every time we come back in here, it's automatically going to pick up that folder that we've created. All right. But what we want to do now is similar to where we imported our photos, we're going to put them in a folder. Otherwise, it's just going to export every photo we do into that one folder. So what we're going to do now is create a subfolder and we're going to give this the same name as the folder we're working on. A, a good reason to do it from your library tab is you can actually see what folder you've got selected. 
Okay, so from here we're basically just going to copy that name. So we're going to put it in a subfolder called the 25th of August. And I'm just going to abbreviate it to PV. Um, and this one was a sunset. Okay, so now it's going to basically put all our edited photos in our edited photos folder and then in another folder under the certain date. Okay, so file naming we don't need to worry about yet video don't need to worry about so file settings this is where we we need to change one thing here and that is basically just the quality we're going to take our quality up to 100% because we want to save these as a high resolution JPEG okay so just make sure your image format does say JPEG okay and our color space we want sRGB okay so again just make sure you're on sRGB is your color space okay resize image by default it should show up as resolution of 240 and that's fine we're going to leave it there we're not going to click resize okay so we don't need to worry about that one at this stage um, output sharpening I don't worry with output sharpening because I've already sharpened my images when we did our edit okay um, again this is personal preference you might find that if you tick um, sharpen for screen it may look better um, sharpen for glossy paper depending on how you want to do it but I find I do my sharpening when I do my editing um, so I'll leave sharpening off metadata we won't worry about that for now watermarking we're not going to worry about that and post-processing this is just what happens once the, the exports finished and we're just going to leave that on do nothing so really the only thing you need to change is your quality up to a hundred percent and that's going to save it at the best quality it possibly can so it's going to be a full high resolution JPEG um, the the pixels per inch this is probably the only thing we're going to change later on when we do one for social media and one for print uh, but 240 is fine for everything it, it's just a it, it's a one-size-fits-all type resolution so just leave it where it is for now that's your basic export setting okay so really all we did was bump up our quality to hundred percent okay so now we can just hit export and then if we have a look up in the top left hand corner it's just going to show you where you're at so it's saying exporting 28 files so we'll just wait for that to finish and then I'll show you exactly where they are okay so now our export is finished and if we just go into our folders okay we're going to go into our pictures folder and as you can see, there's our all, all photos, so that's our, our raw files, um, or your original JPEGs if you shoot in JPEG. That's where your original photos are. Um, and here's our edited photos. So once I open that, once again, I've got my subfolder, and that's where all my edited photos now are. Okay, and I, I can go through, and they're all in there. Okay, so that's how easy it is to export. So now we've, we've basically saved all of our raw files or saved our original photos um, as an edited full resolution JPEG. Okay, so that's how we do it. So now on to part two. And what we're going to do is we're going to resize them um, for social media. Okay, so sometimes that your high resolution JPEGs, you don't necessarily want to upload them to social media. One, your files are going to be too big. Um, two, a lot of the program, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, they generally resize your image anyway. Um, and if they have to compress your file, they never look as good as when you do it yourself. Okay, so for social media, what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to select all of our photos. We're going to go down to export. Okay, and as you can see, everything's still there. So that's our just standard high resolution JPEG. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save that as a preset so then we don't need to change it in the future. Okay, so to save this as a preset, what we do is we go down to our Add button. We're going to click on Add. Okay, and we're going to call this preset High Res JPEG. Okay, and Create. So at any time, if we change any of these settings, this preset's always going to be there. So for example, if I change all of these, uh, resize the image, okay, at any time, if I want to reset what I've done, I'm just going to hit high res JPEG, and it takes it back to that original setting, okay? Now, for some reason, don't tick the box, 
because if we tick that box, let me just change this. Okay, if I tick the box, it doesn't let us change anything. So I'm not sure exactly why it does that, but yeah, if you just hit high res JPEG, then it takes it back to where we want to be. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do um, a setting for social media. So basically we're going to resize our images for number one, make the files a lot smaller, um, and number two, so then the Facebook or Instagram doesn't compress our files too much. Now, I find this one works for me. Uh, there's lots of different ways of doing it. Every program, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or Flickr, they all have their preferred resolutions. This is the one I use, and this works as, again, just a blanket social media setting, okay? Um, you can resize each one individually for Facebook and resize one for Insta, but I just find that I just do one and that sort of covers all of them. Okay, so again, the only thing we're going to change here is basically our resolution. Okay, so image sizing. So if we click on the image sizing little arrow, we'll get this drop down box. Everything we're going to leave the same. Okay, JPEG. Uh, image format is still JPEG, color space is still sRGB, we're still going to leave our quality at 100%, but what we're going to do is we're going to resize our images. Okay, so if we click the resize to fit, and then what I like to do is choose my long edge, and just change my long edge to 2000 pixels. Okay, so now that we've selected our long edge as 2000 pixels, the other thing we need to change is our resolution. Okay, so we're going to change our resolution down to 72. Okay, so 72 is just a general resolution for viewing on a screen. So whether it's on a phone, on a tablet, uh, laptop, PC, wherever, uh, screen resolution is a general, a viewing resolution. Okay, and I find 2000 pixels, the files big enough to view on a phone, on a tablet, again, on a screen, it's, it's big enough to view. Um, as you'll see when we're finished, the photo is still going to look fine. But because we're reducing it to 2000 pixels, it just makes the file a lot smaller. So rather than being a 20 megabyte file, it should be down around about 2 megabytes. So then we can email them, um, upload them quicker. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the, the main thing we're changing is our image sizing. Okay, and then while we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to create another preset, and I'm just going to press add, okay, and I'm going to call this one social media, okay, and create. So at any time, if we want to do our high resolution JPEG, we just click on high resolution JPEG, okay, and then it's changed our settings there, and then social media, we change our settings there. Okay, so if we don't want to save them in the same folder as our high resolution, all we need to do is basically change the name, and we're just going to add on social media. So then what it's going to do is it's going to create another subfolder with a different name. Okay, um, so now that we've done that, we're just going to press export. And again, once it's exported, I'll go into my folders and we'll have a quick look at it. Okay, so now that that export has finished, again, if we go back to our folders, just back to our pictures folder, and it's still going to be in our edited photos, and we have a new folder. So 25th of August, and this one's called social media. And if I open that up, as you can see, we can still zoom in, it's still got plenty of detail, um, but the file's not as big as a high resolution JPEG. Okay, so that's what I do, and that, that works fine for me. Okay, so our files are nice and small, most of them are around about that one and a half megabytes, as opposed to our high resolution, which are up around the 10 megabytes. Okay, so some of them are even up to 12. So that's how I save for social media. Um, and emailing as well, if you want to email them, uh, smaller files are just easier to email. And finally, we're going to create another preset, and this time we're going to do it for print. Okay, so again, just from our library tab, we've selected all our photos. And again, this is where, if you are going to print them, you probably only, only want to pick one or two. Um, so in this case, I will, I'm ju I just want to print this one, this is the one that I like the most. So I'm going to select just that photo that I want to print. I'm still going to go down to export. Okay, and as you can see, it's still on the last setting that we use, which was our social media. 
So the easiest way to do this, if we just go back to our high resolution JPEG, and the only difference is we're going to change our resolution to 300. And that's pretty much it. That's all we're doing, changing our resolution to 300. Now, output sharpening, again, if, if you don't sharpen in your editing process, it can be worthwhile choosing um, for either matte paper or glossy paper, depending on what you want to print on. Uh, but I do my sharpening in editing, so I generally don't select that. I'm going to do another video on printing, which I will show you how we can sharpen in editing, so then we don't need to worry about this too much. Okay, so all we're changing is our resolution to 300. Make sure we don't resize, so don't have resize to fit. Uh, JPEG, we're still having our image format at JPEG, quality at 100, and our color space sRGB. Okay, again, this is a very simple one size fits all type printing. Um, depending on if you print yourself, you're probably better off going Pro, Pro Photo um, or Adobe RGB. So if you print yourself, this probably isn't what you want. This is more for if you want to send your prints online and have someone print them, if you want to take them into your local. Um, over here we have what's called an Officeworks or a Kmart or somewhere like that and have your photos printed there. This is what we use for that. Okay, again, I'll do another video on printing, but this is just for 90% of you, uh, this is all you need. Okay, we don't want to resize. We want to keep the files as the original size. We just want to change that resolution to 300. Okay, and then what we're going to do uh, we're going to rename our folder that we put them in. So this one, I'm just going to call it print. Okay, so just remember to rename your subfolder. So then that way all of your photos are still going into your edited photos or whatever you decide to call it. And then it's just going to put it into a subfolder. Now, as an example, if I don't change that and I hit export, it's going to tell me that a file already exists. Okay, so what I can do, I can either override it, so then it's only going to save this one as a print file. I can use a unique name where basically it will give it the same file number, dash two. Um, so if you see this screen, it means that you've already saved that photo in the folder. Okay, so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create another folder and I'm going to call this one print. Okay, so I just want to print that photo. It's in its own folder. Um, I know which one it is. That's probably the easiest and safest way of doing it is just saving it in a different place rather than having all your social media, all your high res and all your prints in the one folder. Just put them in a new folder. Okay, um, and then we're going to export. And then once again, I'll go to my folder. We'll go to our pictures folder. And again, they're, they're still in my edited photos but now I've got another folder that says print. Okay, and then we've got just our one photo in there that's ready to print. Okay, so then we can email that off and do whatever we want with it. Okay, so that, that's it. That's three very simple ways of exporting. Um, but you'll find that just the general high resolution JPEG, that is fine for 90% of people out there that just wanna share their photos or print their photos. It's kind of, a com it's a best of both. It's a best of both. Uh, these are more optimal settings. So if you only want to export to um, have something printed, then do it with that 300 pixels per inch. And if you're only dealing with social media um, or you want to email your friends, this will give you a nice small file size, but still retain all the quality. So we, we can still zoom in and see what's going on. So nice, easy, simple, how to export three different ways. So hopefully you did like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to subscribe. There's going to be lots more videos in this series. So I'm going to cover everything just little bit by little bit. We're going to work our way through Lightroom. Uh, rather than do everything at once, we're just going to do it step by step. Lots more videos coming and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.